Hello everybody, this is From Milwaukee to Nashville. I'm Daniel Gunnamo and this is Christopher Dreyers. We are From Milwaukee to Nashville. We cover everything Admirals and Pirates related. On uh, every other week, uh, we bring break down the Florida Everblades, what they're doing. Yep, that's our ECHL affiliate. And uh, so in today we had a doubleheader. We had the uh, Predators and the Edmonton Oilers and the Milwaukee Admirals and Rockford Icehogs for the third time in a row. Oof. Oh, uh, we're uh, brought to you by our uh, good friends at uh, Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, Be more enthusiastic. Uh, you can visit them at HockeyLockerMilwaukee.com. Yeah, can we've been joking around <coughs> because yeah, that's we, what we do. We took a day off and we were joking about uh, stuff. Uh, what's been going on in the sports world. Yeah. Mainly um, Houston. The Houston Astros and the Red Sox getting their manager fired. All the cheating in baseball. Oh. I love baseball. All the cheating they do. All right, let's go. Yep. Uh, yeah, you're up. You're not going to plug the rest of our commercial? Or you'll do that later? I'm going to do that at the end of my show. Okay. Anyways, Predators lose uh, 4-2 to two to the Oilers. It was an okay game. I. Uh, a couple of those goals, I honestly think uh, Pekka had no chance. One literally bounced off of Pekka's shoulder, his shoulder and went in. Like you saw that one, like hit him right in his shoulder and went in. All right, anyway, shots on goal were even at 32 a pop. Face-off percentage was at 60% Predators, 40% Oilers. Uh, the Predators were 0 for 3 in the power play, Oilers were 2 for 4. Penalty minutes were 8 for the Predators, 6 for the Oilers. Uh, the Oilers had 24 hits, Predators had 23 block shots for 18-15 for the Predators, and the Oilers had 9 giveaways, and the Predators had 8. Alright, that's no. done. <clears throat> Just Wait, letting you done? know, their promo for CT. Oh, cool. Um, so, in scoring in the first is Ryan Nugent Hopkins with his... 13th with an assist from uh, Leon Drysaddle, his 46th. I warned you guys about Drysaddle, didn't I? And then uh, Philip Forsberg with the uh, Michigan goal with his 16th. That was a nice goal. It really was. Uh, with an assist from Duchesne, his 21st. Um, and then who else but Colin Blackwell. <laughs> Never heard of him. Uh, he is his second with an assist from uh, Benino, his 12th, and Weber, his second. Weber? Weber. Who the hell is Weber? Yannick Weber. Oh, oh okay. Not Shea. <laughs> yeah, that's who I was like, who the hell is Weber? Oh. Um, and then Leon Dreisaitl scored his 26th um, on the power play with an assist from Chason, his 10th, and McDavid, his 47th. Yeah, McDavid. Um, and then Josh Archibald scored his fifth with an assist from McDavid, his 48th, and Clefbaum, his 23rd. Then Dreisaitl and McDavid hooked up for a power play goal at the end of the game. Yeah, now it's Dreisaitl second of the game. Uh, 27th of the year, and uh, McDavid's 49th assist of the year. Yeah, uh, McDavid and Dryside are uh, tied for first as far as uh, scoring goes in the entire league. All right, um, only my guys. Early, all right, my early heart trophy pick would have to go to Connor McHockey. Connor McDavid. Um, the only minuses that were minus two were Dante Fabro and Matias Eckholm. Well, Fabro didn't see that much ice time, I noticed. Um, Pekka stopped 28 of 31 with a .903 save percentage. Pekka played his heart out. I cannot take this game. He I, always does. Do you expect less? Um, they play good defense. It's just like when you got guys like Dreisaitl, Big David. It's kind of hard. And to you just, got Ryan Nugent Hopkins. He's actually stepping up. I told you guys he's been and playing Mike pretty Smith, good the last couple Mike of years. Mike Smith uh, now 4-0 oh, in his last four. So. Yeah. Um, with that being said, Mike Smith had uh, 30 saves on 32 shots with a .938 save percentage. Uh, the referees in the game were Jean Hebert. Uh, and, uh, Why do you have to say it like that? I didn't like him when he was in the NA AHL. Don't like him now.
Um, and then, There's a lot of referees you hate, huh? Um, Kendrick Nicholson were the other referee. Uh, our linesmen were Keel Merchinson and Mark Schuick. Uh, head coach for Nashville is John Hines for now. <laughs> I like how you said that. For now. Head coach for Edmonton is Dave Tippett. What's his name? Dave Tippett. Huh. All right, scratches for Nashville were Jared Chinardi, Austin Watson, and Matt Irwin. Um, come on, Chinardi, come back to Milwaukee. Uh, scratches for Edmonton were Yuhar Kaskaria, Zach Cassian, who's serving a two-game suspension, and William Legison. Did you talk about why he's suspended? He cheap shot in the heck out of Matthew Kachuk. Yeah. Um, he hit cheap him. Cheap shots are understatement. He jumped him from behind. Yeah, like I said, cheap shots are understatement. Okay, I understand defending yourself against a guy who's been hitting you all game, but you don't jump the guy from behind. Yeah, that shit's a dirty play, guy. All right, so up next we got the Milwaukee Admirals versus the Rockford Ice Hogs. Can anybody say barbecue hog? Um, the Admirals barbecue are. Hog. Our Admirals have not lost in regulation since the first time me and you went down there. Which was what? Last 2017. Yeah, February two years ago. February 12th of 2017. So almost two years. Yeah, yeah. Almost three. And as said, this year we haven't been to every Rockford road game like we were last year. Or the year before going up to it. Yeah. So well, we've been to a majority of these games at Rockford the last couple seasons, and they keep the winning going even when we're not there. All right, so stats in the game are. Oh, that's me. Okay. Uh, <laughs> shots on goal in the first period, uh, six five Rockford. Uh, shots on goal in the second period, uh, eighteen four Milwaukee. Uh, shots on goal in the third period, 9-6 Rockford. But Milwaukee outshot them 29-19. Uh, Milwaukee, for whatever reason, was 0-2 on the power play. How the hell did Rockford go 1-6 on the power play? Did Milwaukee really get hit with that many penalties today? Apparently. Yeah, because Milwaukee had 7 infractions for 17 minutes, and Rockford had 4 penalties for 11. That. Yeah, but uh, Milwaukee won 4 1 in regulation. So, once again, the Admirals are very good at hockey. All right, Dan, do you think? All right, so as far as the penalties go. Hey, hey McCarron got himself a goal. Um, so, as far as the penalties go, um, one, of the, w one of the bad penalties that was taken by the Admirals was Tanner Janot's uh, cross checking. He took a two minute penalty plus a five for fighting. Five I'm not talking about the band. Yeah, now he's got the song stuck in his head. <laughs> I was watching an episode of Simpsons. I'm sorry it happens. All right, do you think Michael oh. McCarron? Well, yeah, so Michael McCarron scored his sixth goal of the year with, an, with it being his first as an admiral with an assist from Lucas Craig's, his second. Uh, I would suggest uh, probably a stick tap first goal as an admiral. Um... And then, oh, don't put it away. We ain't done yet. <laughs> okay, keep it going then, buddy. All right, so, so Matthew Olivier scored his sixth goal of the season with an assist from Tanner Janot, his eighth, and Josh Wilkins, his seventh. And then uh, Mackenzie Entwistle, or Enwistle, Entwistle. Uh, scored his sixth with an assist from Jacob Nielsen and John Quinville. Nielsen uh, is 12th and Quinville is sixth. That was also on the power play. And then Illy, oh, no, they changed it. I saw initially that they said this was Tolvin in his goal. Yeah. Um, Anthony Richard scored his 13th of the year with an assist from Illy Tolvin in his ninth, and Josh Healy, his first point as an admiral. Congratulations, bud. It's good to see that he's able to contribute in other parts other than the penalty box. Hey, that sounds like a cheap shot. Well, no, he just likes to fight a lot. <laughs> yeah, nothing wrong with that. All right, keep it going. <laughs> and then the guy I was going to rip on after Tolvanen got things going, Mika Salamaki got his third. Was it assist for Brad Pitlick, his 11th, <clears throat> and Frederick Allard, his 13th? Way to go, Freddy. Uh, three stars of the game were Anthony Richard with a goal. Uh, 
Michael McCarron with a goal and Matthew Olivier with a goal. Uh, Tori Grossman stopped 18 of 19. Uh, Matt Tompkins was in net for uh, Rockford. He stopped 25 of 29. Head coach for Rockford is Derek King, assistant coach Anders Sorensen. Uh, Milwaukee's head coach is Carl Taylor, assistant coach Scott Ford, assistant coach Greg Rollo. Uh, attendance at the BMO Harris Bank Center was 2,815 people. Uh, referees were Brett Rowland and Stefan Renault. Uh, linesmen were Riley Boyles and Mike Daughtry. Um, uh, do, 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 do. I'm looking for something. All right, anyways, our next game would be tomorrow against the Chicago Wolves at the uh, All State Arena down there in Rose, or here at the Panther Arena. Durr. Yes, right. let's let's drive all the way to Rosemont just to find out that the game's here. Yeah, right. My bad. <laughs> My bad. Anyways, uh, it's here in Milwaukee at the UW Milwaukee Panther Arena at. Hang on, it's at yeah. seven o'clock, and at first two thousand fans get an eyeglasses cleaner, or you can use those to clean your phone like most people do. <laughs> okay, now, like I said, we we're doing the wolves. Uh, yes. All right, I'm going to do this first, and then I'll talk about their record against the Wolves. All right, they're leading, uh, well, not much has changed. We got Lucas, 11 is, uh, 40 games played, 7 goals, 25 assists, still leads the team. He's going to be a player of the year for the Wolves, and rookie of the year probably. Uh, Curtis McKenzie, 40 games played, 13 goals, 12 assists. Uh, we got George, or yeah, Gage Quinney, eight ga or, uh, eight goals, sixteen assists, thirty games played. Then we got Brandon Peary, your buddy, uh, twenty two games played, nine goals, thirteen assists, and uh, Jimmy Schult. Schult. Yeah, Schult. S C H U L D T. Uh, thirty nine games played, five goals, thirteen assists. Goalies go. Uh, hey, 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 get ready. Yeah. Um, no, I, I was actually reading. This. All right. Uh, so uh, their starting goalie is Garrett. Oh, nope, it's Oscar Dansk. He's played more Dansk, games. Dansk, you suck. <coughs> uh, 21 games played. Uh, 2.63 goals against average. 13 wins, 6 losses. One over. <laughs> <coughs> uh, one overtime loss with a .907 save percentage. Uh, Garrett Sparks has started in 19 games. He has 5 wins, 11 losses, 3 overtime losses with a 2.55 goals against average and a .915 save percentage. <coughs> Alright, uh, the Admirals are 4-2 against uh, Chicago this year. Uh, their last meeting was on December 29th. Milwaukee won 3-2 in a shutout. Or a shootout, not a shutout. But yeah, they play the Wolves on Wednesday, and then they play them in Chicago on Saturday. So uh, yeah, uh, this is the only uh, preview I'm doing for the next few days as far as the Wolves go. So just watch this video and uh, tune in to our uh, recap. Like I did with the Rock. Rockford. Yep, I just shared. I, we just got to put our last video of uh, whatever we did for that team yeah. up, and we're good to go. Um, Chicago has 6 2 1 and 1 in their last 10. They're on a three game win streak. And so is Milwaukee. They're on a three game win streak as of tonight. Yep, so something got to get. And give. we swept uh, Rockford all three games we played. Yep, all right. So the Admirals. Currently lead the the, the league. Yeah, I was going to say, the division. We know about the division. They lead the league. Yeah, we lead the league. We lead the division by 11 points. Yikes. It'll take an epic meltdown before uh, we give up that lead. All right, so you want to talk about some uh, uh, upcoming promotions? Try to help put some butts in the seats? Because it's kind of depressing when we have a good hockey team and nobody supports them. 
We I have like a seven point lead on the rest of the league. Yeah, we're literally the best team in the league, and yet we can't get a sellout. There's not much to do in Milwaukee besides work and get drunk. The Bucks tickets are insanely expensive. The Admirals are affordable. Come support the hockey team. All right, so like I said, league. tomorrow, the first 2,000 fans will receive a cloth lens uh, with Wisconsin Visions logo and the Admirals logo on it, which will be nice. More Admirals, the more Admirals stuff we have, the better off we are. Yeah. Um, and then upcoming next Saturday, next, oh, not next Saturday, next Friday, we have a Skillet post-game concert. Uh, they, yeah, they're a Grammy Award nominated uh, band. Yep. I've um, heard them. They're okay. So. Men used multiple times for uh, uh, wrestling and video games. They're currently the music for Monday Night Raw, right? Yes, and the Admirals intro video. Yeah, I was about to say. Monday All right, um, and then February 5th is Pride Night uh, for the LGBT... LGBTQ community. Yep. Um, so uh, you can buy your ticket. You'll get a black ab buy uh, a pride ticket. You'll get an admiral's hat with the uh, rainbow colored logo. Yeah. Um, yeah, but you gotta buy that ticket package. Also, kind of like uh, how we had to buy uh, the butcher mask. Yeah. Um, also, uh, upcoming February seventh, Badger mm-hmm. Band Night, and it's a two for one Brewer. Uh, Admirals giveaway. It's also a two for one night. If you buy an Admirals ticket, you can get a Brewer ticket free for I think it's like twenty two dollars, which isn't a bad deal. Tw- well, I'm looking forward to it because so, I like the Badger Band. So for eleven bucks, you get an Admirals ticket, and eleven bucks, you get a Brewer ticket. You can't beat that. So that game, don't be surprised if this video comes late. Just like Skillet, don't yeah. be surprised. We'll be at these concerts. So yeah, we're only staying for select concerts. Also, uh, whether I like it or not, I'll be at Scotty McCreary only because my mom and sister are going, and yeah, I'll be forced to go to that show. Not a big country guy. You know, um, I mean, I am, but I don't have a clue who he is. So <laughs> he was on American Idol. That's all I know about. Him. That show existed for a while. There, yeah. All right. So up next, also for beyond that, um, February twenty first, uh, we have two thousands night. Darren hate our bobblehead night. Two thousands night. Eesh. Yes. Kind of nervous by what they'll be doing for that. All right. And we'll be wearing our red. Uh, the J. Bottle Chin uh, Admiral logo. Yep. The one that the jersey I used to wear all the time until I uh, got some money together and bought a new jersey. Yeah. Hell, he's got to get a. He's got to break that one out for that night. Yeah. Right. So, um. Go throwback. All right, so uh, oh, also okay. They so, hate our bobblehead that same night that they do the uh the jerseys. Oh, they're retiring his number that night too. Yeah. All right, so there is one thing I wanted to read to you guys. Okay, so the two thousands night, so the decade that brought us Justin Timberlake and Britney Spears duo, the iPod, the iPhone, John Cena, High School Musical, and the two thousand and seven Britney Spears meltdown. We decided it needed its own night. All right, one, I don't care about Britney and Justin being together because of the 90s brought us in sync and the 90s brought us Britney Spears' solo group. And the 2000s brought us the end of it. <laughs> yeah, and like you said, the meltdown. But who cares about John Cena? All right, so then the thing I'm looking forward to is... Captain the, Crunch logo. Yes, uh, March 13th, they finally <laughs> announced that. Um, also, March 14th, we have uh, Speedwagon. I'll be checking out that one, because I hear they do a good show, so I want to see for myself. Um, they also got Superhero Night coming. Which is also Salute to Wrestling Night on March 22nd. Woohoo! Body slams on ice. Make it happen again. That was great, man. Wrestling before a hockey game. That was cool. Um, and then I bet uh, you it was uh, time-consuming getting the ring and everything set up. They probably had more room to work with at the uh, old arena. Yeah. Um, the other thing is, uh, Scotty McCreary, uh, with that concert, as we talked about, it, it is on March 27th. Um, because of the uh, non snowmageddon that was supposed to happen, that yeah. got a hockey game moved, yeah. Nash did not make the trip. So, he now moved his trip to March 27th. 
Oh, Nash was supposed to be this past weekend? Yes. Okay. Yeah, I didn't know he was supposed to have been there. Yep, I didn't so, know that the game got moved because, uh, you know, preparation for the snow. Also, March 22nd, I forgot, is Roscoe's birthday. <laughs> Happy birthday, Roscoe, from us to you. So that's the upcoming promos. We will get them to you as they come out. Hey, I'm you should sure probably tell be... them ticket prices, too. So that way, you know, we can try to get more people to go to the games. Dude, our team's the best team in the league, and we're having attendance issues. Like I said, uh, you can get a Brewers ticket and an Admirals ticket, uh, part of the two-man advantage. They do two games a year like this. And if you buy them to both, you get an Admirals ticket and a Brewers ticket for basically hey, do you 44. Have a seating map? We could probably. I'm, I'm really trying to help out the ticket department. I like the guys in our ticket department. I'm trying to help them out. Excuse me for trying to be a nice guy. The Admirals right. would appreciate it too if they make a bunch of money. All right, it would be nice, but you know they only give us the ticket by game by game. So well, it's the same prices typically, unless it's like a special game. All right. If you if you notice, it's basically the same price. Except for the fact that Ticketmaster, they do resales, and yeah. They don't yeah, have... Yeah, but, but their actual listing don't really change much. So you can get tickets at the 300 level for 13 bucks. Yeah, exactly. Like, And their most expensive one would probably be, what, like 30 tops? Maybe a little more than 30? For 30 bucks, you can't even get in the door at the uh, new arena. To sit front row in front of me yeah. is, I'm oh, waiting on it. Well, you can't sit in front row because season ticket holders hold that. $33. So, yeah. And at the new box arena, you can't even get a ticket for that cheap. But yeah, um, you should probably you should come on out. It's a fun atmosphere. You'll have a great view of the ice no matter where you sit. No obstructed view. Like I said, Admirals are the best team in the league. Ah, yes, there we See, go. See, that's what I was hoping you could have found right there. They only have a seating chart. They don't have like the prices with oh. it, so that don't help us none. Never mind. Um, so upcoming outside of that, the Admirals play the Wolves back to back. By the end of this week or next couple weeks, we're going to be so sick of seeing Illinois teams that we're going to be like, bring on Grand Rapids. And then all of a sudden, they'll give us like five more games with the Wolves and Rockford. Yep. So, how come Green Bay don't get an AHL team? Um, they have a USHL. Yeah, they have the Gamblers, but I'm talking to AHL. Come on. I want an in-state rivalry. Illinois could have it. How come we can't? I don't know. It'll eventually get there. No, if the well, NHL... Nobody wants to come to our state. For whatever reason, Illinois is putting something in the water to make people come back. All right, let's uh, wrap the show before I bury us and rip Illinois. Actually, yeah. no, I was going to say, if the NHL does what uh, the rumors I've been hearing of expanding to, tw to 40 teams, the AHL is going to have to expand to 40 teams. So have like Green Bay and... Uh, Madison. <laughs> We'll have the Madison West Capitals. Alice. West Allis will have something too, probably. So, um, so we'll play their games in the middle of the Pettit Center. <laughs> so uh, this has been from Milwaukee to Nashville, brought to you by the wonderful folks at Hockey Locker, 2002 West Howard Avenue, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. If you uh, go there, you can get all your hockey needs, figure skating needs, roller, lighting, gear. roller skating, roller hockey needs. Um, you can get you can goalie get gear. sharpened. You can get jersey customization. I'm helping now. Keep going. And if you go there and don't spend money, I'm going to tell them to put you in a hockey locker. But <laughs> if you go there and spend money, tell them that uh, we sent you. Yeah, so otherwise you we don't know you. Money. Oh, if you spy CCM gear, I'm nope. not that's done. Done. that's done. That's been done since the 11th. You're going to tell me that. I wasn't aware of that either, but I'm... Sorry about that, folks. But they do have a drop-off window for your skates. You can drop off your skates in the middle of the night if you're You just have to leave a note with your skates with like some type of contact information. Yep, email, uh, phone number. And money, probably. Nope, you pay when you pick them up. Oh, or else you ain't getting your stuff back. That's yep. a good way to do it. We need money if you want your skates. Yeah, pretty much. So that's, that's nice about it. You can drop your skates off, pay when you pick up. So, uh, so in theory, if 
you leave them there for two weeks, you could you got two weeks to come up with the money for it. Yeah. How I much would, is it for skate sharpening, or you don't got their purse? I don't remember. I've been meaning to send him an email to get those, but yeah, but yeah, it'll happen. We'll get there. But uh, yeah, like I said, come out to the uh, hockey games, man. Support our team. We're the best team in the league. We're what are you guys? What, gonna, what are you guys gonna do tomorrow? Really? What are you guys gonna do tomorrow? Come on down. We're we're like uh we're like uh what's that uh. Uh, oh man. Circus sideshow? No. no, that's what we're like. The Admirals, they're like, uh, an ice cream sundae. No, I was, uh, like, more like a Frosty. Yeah, Frosty. Oh yeah. yeah, if the Admirals get four goals in a game, we get a Frosty when you buy a purchase at our Wendy's. Oh, by the way, go to your local Wendy's. Get Tomorrow, your... by the way, because the Admirals scored four goals tonight. I wish they had the five goals where if you... I wish they had that chicken sandwich feel where uh, if they get a shutout, you get a chicken sandwich. That was great. They had that for like one or two years and then they stopped doing it. Well, that was because then we'd get shut out. Play, right? Yeah, we'd get shutouts on Saturday and then they'd be closed on Sunday and nobody would get their chicken sandwich. <laughs> well, anyways, that's been from Walking to Nashville. We'll check you guys out tomorrow. Also, by the way, like I said, our show is like, um, what's that show that, uh, what's his name, uh, the, um, Drew Carey's the host of. The Drew Carey show? Or no. Whose Line Is It Anyway? No, um, he does. Whose Line Is It Anyways? With Wayne Brady and everybody? No, he took, oh, oh, Price is Right. Yes, just come on down to the arena. Oh, oh I was <laughs> trying to get at. I was about to say, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yes. <laughs> there's no showcase, uh, there's no showcase showdown on this show. Wow, that's a tongue twister showcase showed out on this show. Yeah, hey, you pulled it off. <laughs> yeah, surprisingly. <laughs> but, like we said, we'll see you guys tomorrow night, and probably... Oh, like us on YouTube. Watch your videos. Yep. Seriously, they're on YouTube. If you don't like Facebook, go to YouTube. Yep. We don't have commercials on our videos on YouTube, so please watch them. 